Now, Comic Book Man and Bo are going to talk DC news just for you. This could very well be the stupidest person on the face of the earth. DC Comic Book News, Episode 36, More Loster. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to my video outhouse. It's time for DC News here in the outhouse, and we're in the DC room. And as always, joining me for DC News is the DC man himself. Bo, hi. How you doing, kids? I don't know. I don't say how you doing, kids, in every segment. How will people know it's who you are? It's not a trademark. <laughs> Well, not yet. The paperwork hasn't come back from the lawyers. The truth is, he just doesn't care. But you know what is trademarked? This right here. Alternate reality, which is where you're coming to you from. Located at 111th and Kenzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate reality, where all new comics are 15% off every day for everyone, including the entirety of the Superman family. What's up with Superman, Bo? We got a whole pastel of Superman news in this update. You know... I read a lot okay, of, well, no, no, I read a lot of stuff, and I yes, and I've do. heard of some, and I've seen some really sleazy stuff. Sleazy, sleazy, not Superman. Uh, Warner Communications. Yes, they hired the brand new lawyer. They hired yes. Dander Petroselli to uh, basically defend themselves against these Siegel and Schuster's suing for the rights to Superman. Uh, okay. Instead of their latest move in this legal miasma, miasma, <laughs> they're suing Mark Toboroff. Who's that? He's the Siegel and Schuster's lawyers by saying, you know, he shouldn't be their lawyer because if he wins this case, he'll end up with more money than the Siegel and the Schuster family get out of this. And so he should be thrown off the case and they should be asked to hire a brand new lawyer. I don't think they can sue him for that. Well, that's what they sued him for. Actually, I mean, the Siegels can if they want at some point, but I don't think I don't think Warners can. That's why it comes off as sleazy. Here's the deal. They found some... They, found some paperwork from Tobel Ross' office which suggests that he would be getting 47% of Superman while the Seagulls and Shooters would be splitting it. But this paperwork was found. Where was it? Where was it found? Some, some supposedly this former, this other, this employee who used to work for Tobel Ross dropped it in the middle of the street and some lawyer, oh. somebody from Warner's walked by and went, hey look, we might need something like this. Okay, the problem with all this is that yes. Daniel Petzicelli was hired by Disney to, to defend themselves on the Winnie the Pooh, the Winnie the Pooh uh, copyright. It was a couple of years back. A couple years back. Yeah. Petzicelli won that case because mm -hmm. part of the part of the, the opposition's case was that they found some paperwork in Disney's garbage can, and so he got the case thrown out. Now his big legal he finds tech lots of stuff in garbage. Yeah, now his big legal tactic is well, they should fire Toboroff because this stuff got found. Like, wait a minute, you got that case thrown out because of stuff you found, but you're trying to get him out of there because you're getting your asses kicked in court. It just comes off as really, really sleazy. Okay. So that's it. Well that and the clock is still ticking. Twenty eleven. Superman movie Better Start Production 2013. The Schuster family gets their half of the Superman legal battle, legal fund as well. At this point, the Siegel family owns about a third, and they own a whole bunch like the first couple weeks of the Superman thing. The Schuster family gets the other half relatively quickly, so the clock is ticking, so Warners need to stop wasting their time on crap and getting around to actually settling. Okay, speaking of comic book news. Speaking of comic book news, uh, somebody, is, a writer, is returning back to Superman who hasn't been on that book for over 20 years, but he's coming back to do a mini-series, which is... It's called Superman, The Last Family of Krypton. It imagines that when Superman, when kal was rocketed off of Krypton, mm -hmm. there was room in the uh, rocket ship for Mom and Dad. I, well, I bet it's a bigger ship. It's, it's a, bigger a bigger ship. Now, now, technically, this now who's writing this? This has been written by Carrie Bates. That's and right, the Carrie Bates. The Carrie Bates. They haven't said who's drawing it, but technically, this would be considered an Elseworlds book. But yep. Elseworlds don't exist anymore. So now it's just they'll a consign series. it to an Earth. Right. It's, it won't. Yeah. They'll consign it to one of their fifty-two. No, they're just they're just gonna they're just gonna go read this and pretend it has nothing to do with the rest of the continuity for the rest of the universe. It's just it's just it's just, just read it, and enjoy it, like it. Okay, moving on with the L family. Superboy is coming back to a regular series, and who's working on it? Sweet Tooth Jeff Lemire is writing an ongoing Superboy series. Really? It'll, it'll get a preview of the series in Action Comics eight ninety two, and then he'll get a monthly book right after that. So yes, it'll be a Superboy series. This is Superboy the Clone. Superboy the Clone, who will yeah. probably be off flying and stuff because, as far as I know, James J. Michael Suzuki's playing to still have Superman walking the earth without flying and wearing his costume. That's the J. Michael Straczynski's big thing for Superman coming Dumbest up. thing I've ever heard. So Wait till you see it. It might be okay. Lamar's rapping uh, Sweet Tooth? 
No, Sweet Tooth is going to keep going. Sweet he's Tooth is going to write books. Sweet Tooth. He's also writing an Adam one shot, and he's doing some backup stuff. So Lamar is getting a lot of work. I guess DC likes him. Yeah. Well, actually, it's not even. It's not specifically DC. It's Jeff Johns. Johns no. is calling him up. Jeff going, Johns is DC. Right. Now. He's going. He's going. I like you to do this and this. And he, Lamar's like, Yeah, okay. I was a big DC fan when I was a kid. Anyway. So. Okay. Uh, continuing. With, continuing with the DC universe. The JSA has a. Miniseries? No, no, JSA All Stars. I've been working on it. JSA All Stars has a miniseries? No, 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 no. What is it? Miniseries is the next arc of the story. It will have the JSA All Stars return to Parador. Where's Parador? Which was the uh, the mythical uh, South American country that Eclipso took over. Oh, okay. It'll also include a look back at Infinity Inc. and, re- and reveal more about King, King Chimera's past. King Chimera. Yeah, he's the guy who I shows know. up and says, I think I was somebody and nobody knows who the hell he is. And we're actually find out who the hell he is. Who is he? I think he's some guy they made up. But, oh, okay. uh, but then again, they're all guys they made up, so what the hell. Our last DC story is a death in the DC family. There's been a tra- sad, tragic death in a DC family. This isn't it, but it's related to it. CMS manga ends in July. Everything oh. ends except for Mega Tokyo, apparently the only book in the CMS manga line which sold. The line lasted a whole six years, and one of the, it was one of the first moves that Dai on Jim Lee said. He said, you know, we're trying the best we can. The MAGA market is really, really soft, and yeah. so we're killing the line. Well, if they're keeping this book going, then the yeah. CMX line is still going, because this I will still be a CMX book. I don't, I don't. I think it's just going to be Mega Tokyo with nothing on it all together. Okay. So the, me, so the whole the, CMX line is... The whole CMX line is dead, but then again, yeah. they'll, they'll still keep the copyright on the little thingy there they got. You know. Yeah. Well, that'll stay. Yeah, and if manga gets back up, maybe they'll bring them back. Manga sales have been really, really soft. Manga's been hit hard by the economy. Manga sales are down everywhere. We still get manga here at the store, not nearly as much as we used to, because it just isn't that much of it out there. And to be honest, it's just not selling like it used to. But we've still got thousands and thousands of manga trades here down at the store. So if you're looking for your manga fix, CMX2, come on down. I got plenty. So anyway, that's it. We're done. We're finished with DC News. But you can read more DC News at the store's website. And where's the store's website at, Bo? Where's the store's website at? I think Sarah knows. Okay www.myalternatereality.com Can I get back to my numbers now? Thank you, you rotten little brat, you! <laughs> so hey. stop off at the store's website, like the rotten little black brat just said, hey. and check out all the news that he sends me that I post up for DC Comics. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man and Bo saying bye! This month's Hero of the Month sale at Alternate Reality is... I am Iron Man. And War Machine and Natasha Romanoff. I hear there's a movie coming out for the three of them. Anyway, if you stop down at the store all this month, 25% off all of my Iron Man trades, all my War Machine trades, all my Natasha Romanoff trades, whether they're Masterworks, whether they're soft covers, whether they're hard covers, every trade I've got in the store, 25% off all month long. Now some of you might be wondering, who's Natasha Romanoff? I saw her in the movie, but who is she? Black Widow! 25% off all month long here 